Let's look at how we can add and subtract multiples of 10. If we can count up in 10 and down in 10, we can add and subtract multiples of 10 easily. So let's do a quick practice. Let's count up in 10s from 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Easy, right? And if we start anywhere else, it's just as easy. So starting at 4, let's go, counting up in 10s. 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94. And we can just as easily count back in 10s. So let's start at 77 and count backwards in 10s. 77, 67, 57, 47, 37, 27, 17, 7. So counting forward and backwards in 10s is simple. The only thing that changes as you move up or down is the tens value. The ones stay the same. This makes it very easy to add or subtract 10 or a multiple of 10. So for example, if we wanted to do 46 plus 30, we know we have to start at 46 and count up 30, three lots of 10. And that will mean we'll end up at 76. And similarly, if we wanted to do 46 subtract 20, that means we start at 46 and just move down two lots of 10, and that will end us at 26. And we could also ask those questions in a slightly different way. We could look at something like what plus 40 gives us 72 as the answer. Now this time, we know that we want to end up at 72. We started somewhere, added on the 40, and ended up at 72. So to figure out where we started, we simply have to move down 40, and moving down 40 from 72 will get us 32. So 32 plus 40 gives us 72. And in a similar vein, if we were asked what subtract 30 gets me to 68, well, we know that we want to end up at 68. We started somewhere and came down 30 steps to get to 68. And so to figure out where we started, we simply have to go from 68 and move back up the 30, and that'll give us the answer of 98. So it's 98 subtract 30 that gets us 68 is the answer.